Aloha everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the life. We are here at New Braunfels checking out some ATVs, quads, those fun things that Ron likes. So we're gonna check them out now, see if there's anything that we may be interested in. So you're just coming along with us. It is day in the life. Afterwards, we're gonna have some lunch and we'll show you where we go as well. So come along. here at Krause's Cafe and we're gonna eat some German food here in New Braunfels. So let's see what we're gonna eat here. This is Ron and I's second time coming out to this restaurant. We really enjoyed it the first time around, so of course we had to come back. This time around we did try this wild game sausage platter that Ron was excited about. So they had rabbit, deer, as well as boar. Ron enjoyed it. Here I'm showing you all the outdoor seating area. It's such a beautiful place to come out and relax. If you're ever in the New Braunfels area, definitely check it out. Before we went home, we decided to stop by HEB. This HEB is a plus, which means that it also has additional things besides groceries. So I did have to buy shampoo. I realized that I brought a small one coming from you know Hawaii, and so I picked up a bigger one. I normally like to use the Garnier Fruities brand and I normally am open to trying all the products with Garnier Fruities as long as it's this brand. One thing I noticed when we were here at HEB is that they also sell clothes and some of the clothes are really cute. They're summer clothes right now and I did notice some of them were discounted so if you do have an HEB Plus near you, check out their clothes because their clothes are actually really cute. We also needed to pick up cleaning products. So of course when you move into a new home, a lot of times you don't have cleaning products with you so you have to start from the beginning and that's what we did we had to buy toilet cleaners we needed to buy um, what do you call a dustpan and a broom we also had to buy a plunger so all the things that you don't think about you don't think twice but you definitely need it especially in a brand new home and of course those were things that we just could not bring from Hawaii Ron is getting some, uh, what is he getting? Alcohol at Specs, which is this huge like wine and spirit store that we absolutely love here in Texas. So Ron comes out here to get his spirits. And so while he is in there, I'm gonna show you all the goods. So we ended up picking up this toaster for like 10 bucks or 9.88. This is completely a YouTube made me do it. I 
I've always seen people talk about this toilet wand, so I finally got it because I need it. Mentioned to you all about the dust pan and broom. We were looking for a long handle one, so we found one at HEB. Don't mind my vehicle, it's a little messy, but got a plunger. Uh, what do I have in here? Oh, raw meat and butter. And then in here, there is some cleaning products, there's soap, there is toilet bowl cleaner. And okay, I needed to get a Sharpie. I actually went to HEB like a couple days ago, to, got one of their store brand Sharpies. And of course, there was no ink in it, so I returned it and I was able to get this. But why I need a Sharpie? So, school, drop off and pick up, they give you something for the dash of your vehicle. And of course, if you use a pen, you can't really see it from the outside. And so I needed a Sharpie to put the girl's name so that way the people who are looking at that um, placard, you know, that you put that piece of paper that you put on your windshield, they can see the girl's names. So all of this, they're cleaning products. I also got $5 off the cleaning products. Um, but Ron also got some alcohol, which is down there and it is for just the weekend. So we don't have to come out into town and everything costs about 70, about $77. So that's what we got at HEB. While I wait for Ron, I'm just going to chit chat a little bit. So today was a really fun day. This morning we started our day off with dropping off the girls. We came back home, rested a little bit, and then we decided to drive out to New Braunfels, which is a little further away from home, give or take. I think it was about an hour because of traffic. And then afterwards, um, we were in New Braunfels for two things. We were there for one, Ron wanted to go to this Honda dealership to look at all these fun toys, so we went out there. And then we wanted to go eat German food. So if you didn't know, uh, you know, where Ron grew up, he ate German food all the time. Where I grew up on Oahu, you don't see any German restaurants. And so when we are close to German restaurants, we are definitely there, you know, eating the food. So. In New Braunfels, they're known for their German restaurants, and so we did go for two reasons, to eat German food and check out that Honda dealership. So, and then, yep, we stopped by HEB, and Ron's getting his alcohol, which I'll show you now. What'd you pick up? Uh, I don't know, some... You picked up some whiskey? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're going to head out home and then we have to get the girls here soon. So let's get the girls next. I'm waiting in the car pickup line now. The school does not end until just about 35 minutes from now. And so I'm, it's funny how every day this week I've been leaving early and earlier and I'm getting close and closer closer to the line so I'm trying to see how long it takes to actually get the girls dependent on what time I get to the car pickup line but I did want to mention that all this is new to me I've never had to really drop off and pick up the girls I was a working mommy who would utilize the afternoon care program in the schools and so I never needed to pick up the girls right when school ended. And so even the school pickup back at home, I don't think it was anything like what they do out here. It's actually really nice how um, they really, it's funny how they almost discourage you from getting out of your car to get your kids. They would rather have you just stay in your car and They'll bring the kids to you out here, which is not like that in 
Hawaii, you are expected to park your car somewhere and then go get your kids. So that's what I'm used to. But it's definitely new beginnings. I have to do a very formal video because a lot has happened, but right now, if you are watching this, you are truly gonna get the inside scoop of what's going on because now I have some downtime while I wait in this pickup line. But we did move to Texas a lot sooner than we had thought. We thought we were gonna be out here at the end of the year, but things changed. And now we are here at the pretty much the end of summer which is perfect time because my girls started school literally a week after we arrived. And so they were able to start school the beginning of this school year and it just worked out perfectly. Um, a couple months ago, I shared with you all that we are building a house and that journey was from January until July. And during that time, we had a lot of time of reflection. We knew what we wanted in our next home. And we realized that the home we were buying was not exactly what we wanted. We wanted something different. And even though we would have had a brand new house, it was a very large house. The house we were building was 3,000 square foot. Mind you, I came from a 1,200 square foot home, single story, 1,200 square feet. And it was enough for our family of four, but you know, who doesn't like more space? And the idea of moving into a larger home, larger lot, and the home we were building was a gated community. The HOA fees were gonna be 800 per year. Um, it was going to have a small pool, um, a playground, a splash pad area, um, and like I said, it was gated. So we thought we were buying into a really good area, but if you didn't know when you buy a brand new house, the initial price seemed great, but after adding on um, structural upgrades and then the design center, you're looking at adding an extra, you know, it could be anywhere from 10, 15, 20,000, even a hundred thousand dollars more than what you thought you were going to pay for. And sure enough, that was the case for us. I mean, I had mentioned all the upgrades we were, um, we had planned out and everything. And this home that we were building, you know, in true honesty, became a house we couldn't afford as much as we dreamed of all these things we just couldn't afford everything we wanted you know and of course me being optimistic and hopeful I told my husband you know when because the market is changing let's look at our options you know, obviously we're in contract for this new build. Let's continue to move forward with it. But if we had found something we wanted, we would try. And what amazing timing within weeks of Ron and I talking about that, about the, the changing of the housing market and then about the home we were building, the outskirts of the community we were buying into we had said so we did visit this area and we had said this area is like we couldn't afford the outskirt area of the community we were building into and what I mean by that the house we were building in was your it was a community, a small community gated in a larger community. The larger community had like just shy of half an acre to half an acre or bigger homes. Um, so they are um, 
pretty much custom homes on half acre lots. And we knew that that was out of our price range. And fortunately, due to the changing housing market, a home became in our price market um, in what we were willing to pay for in a house. And we saw it, we jumped all over it, and we got the home. I mean, it was so fast, everything moved so quickly, there was just no time to update almost anyone. Literally from the time we saw the house, put an offer on the house, got accepted, and then being in Texas was literally give or take 40, 40, 45 days from the time we first saw it. So within those 45 days from the beginning of July pretty much to mid-August, so much has happened with us. Um, once we moved, once we got the home and it was everything we wanted, we decided to terminate the contract for the new build. Of course, because it was our choice to terminate the contract for the new build, we did have to pay a cancellation fee. Well, no, we didn't pay for a cancellation fee. We obviously lost our deposit, but it was okay because we were happy with this decision moving forward. So the home that we did buy is smaller, but still larger than the home we had sold in Oahu. Um, our home now that we bought here in Texas is a three bedroom home with a study, two and a half bathrooms. It's a two story home on just shy of half an acre lot here in Texas, in central Texas. And it was all within our price range. And the home is beautiful. It was, it's everything we could imagine and more. We bought this house sight unseen. We saw the pictures, we had a realtor look at it. My husband did FaceTiming to view this home. We were fortunate to, you know, be accepted when we offered this home and everything had just been moving so quickly. And Ron and I keep talking about it, that this has been the best decision we've ever done and we have no regrets. And even though this whole time, from January until July, we were picturing a brand new built home. Things change and you know, you never know. You never know what life takes us and you know, anything can happen. So yeah, and sure enough, um, the direction of our life and our path pivoted a little bit and it has been the best thing ever and we're so happy we love our home it is everything we could ask for we're so happy we're so happy so that is what i wanted to share with you all we did buy our home texas home a lot sooner we're here in texas and that you know we did not move forward with the brand new built home but we feel like we got something so much better cheaper <laughs> so much better so much more land we have zero regrets zero regrets so so happy so hopefully i can share on another video i did want to do another video of the whole process of pretty much how we went about with us um shipping our vehicles we shipped two vehicles we did um we did get a pod for all of our belongings what else like all the things that we went through during the process of moving um so i i hope i can do a sit down video on that so look out for that video but yes that's what's going on I'm so glad to sh finally share all this news with you all, but if there is anything specific you wanna know about our journey to Texas, 
comment down below and let me know what you want to know but i have so much more content to share with you all i can't wait for you all to see more and more of my beautiful home um, if there is specific content you would like to see on this channel let me know i have so many things so many ideas in mind and i just i can't wait to tackle them so but thank you for being here. Thank you for, you know, sticking around these last couple years. I appreciate it. And if you are new, I hope you all will continue to stick around and follow my journey here in Texas. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment down below. Mahalo!